Maybe Yola. Hello everybody, today is February 22nd, 2020, temperatures 41 degrees Fahrenheit, 5 degrees Celsius. I just got off the Long Island Railroad at the Mineola train station and I'm going to do a walk of the Nassau County village of Mineola today. So this is my first time in this village, don't really know how exactly to get out of here but I do a know a little bit about its history and the history of Nassau County, so I'll talk about that first. I think maybe I'll climb the staircase because it seems like that's where most people are going and that's where the town is. There's my train. And anyway, Nassau County was formed after the 1898 consolidation of New York City. Nassau County used to be the eastern half of Queens County, the half that did not join New York City. The county seat of Nassau County is Mineola, and this largest town is Hempstead, which is directly to the south of Mineola. So let me just check out this area near the Long Island Railroad Station. Here's the ticketing area. And here we got some places here, convenience store, diner, station plaza. There's a mini mart here. So a nice little cute area near the train station. Okay. Sorry, you lost. So I'm just figuring out where I am now. Looks like where I am now, I'm right next to Mineola uh, Boulevard. This is Mineola Boulevard right here. I'm not sure if I could walk on that bridge or not, or that ramp. But I'd like to go over there in order to see the um, old country road and also the old county courthouse. There's a sign to welcome to Mineola, the station plaza. I'll come back to this area. Okay, can walk across this bridge. You see, I kind of knew where I was going when I got off the Long Island Railroad on the south side, but it just looked like that area I couldn't like cross over into the other side. I was looking for the big street. It is a little bit odd for me to do this, but 
Unless, as long as I get there, right? That's all that matters. Here's an interesting feature. There's only one lane going southbound and then there's three lanes going northbound on this bridge. And all this bridge does is go over the railroad tracks. There's the station plaza from the Mineola Boulevard Bridge. Incorporated village of Mineola, nice seal there. So let me tell you a little bit about what it costs to get here. I took the New York City subway to Jamaica Station and then took the Long Island Railroad train here. It's a different fare structure than the New York City subway in that you have to pay for the distance traveled. It was a little bit cheaper to depart from Jamaica Station rather than uh, Penn Station, which is the busiest train station of the Long Island Railroad. It was a $6 ticket compared to like a uh, $9 ticket leaving from Penn Station. So just a little tip if you want to save a little bit of money, take the New York City subway system to Jamaica and then you can take the Long Island Railroad from there. because the New York City subway system is not distance-based, but the Long Island Railroad is. You see, I could have just walked all the way through here in order to get over here. Here's a health food store, nice natural, blow chic, blow dry bar. When most New Yorkers refer to Long Island, they refer to the counties of Nassau and Suffolk. But if you're referring to the Long Island uh, landmass itself, it also includes Queens and Brooklyn, the counties of Queens County and Kings County, respectively. But Long Island is more of a general term to categorize the people who live and work here, AKA Long Islanders. Okay, that looks like an interesting building. Got across the street. I don't know if this button works, but I'm gonna give it a try. I do know that Nassau County is not too favorable to pedestrians, unlike New York City. It's a more car-centric area than New York City is. But right there is the um, Old County Courthouse on Old Country Road and Franklin Avenue. Where I am right now is Mineola Boulevard, but as soon as I cross the street, it becomes Franklin Avenue. And if you want to be really technical, I'm going to be exiting Mineola once I cross the street. It's going to become a new place called Garden City. Okay, now I have the walk signal on. I would not consider jaywalking the street unless it was absolutely clear. But anyway, here's the old county courthouse, the Theodore Roosevelt Executive and Legislative Building, 
chartered in 1899. That's when Nassau County was formed. As I previously stated before, New York City consolidated in 1898, and Nassau County was formed the next year in 1899 with this courthouse. It's an old architecture there across the street, the Long Island Title Guarantee Company. Don't know if it's still in business. Probably not. It does look like the building's occupied though, but probably not by the same company. But let's go pay a visit to this uh, governmental building, the Old County Courthouse. There's the man. Former President Theodore Roosevelt. Let's walk up to this county courthouse and take a look as it looks very interesting. Got some columns there. I think they're called Doric or Corinthian. One or the other. I always get them mixed up. Or maybe even Ionic. But you see the Nassau County seal there. And the courthouse. Very impressive building, that's for sure. All right, let's continue on our walk of Mineola. I think what I'll do is I'll try to figure out where the uh, railroad left me off at and see if I can get back in there just because I'm curious. And then I'll walk Mineola Boulevard to Jericho Turnpike, which is another major thoroughfare through the area. And then later on, I'll be walking on Jericho Turnpike, and I think I'll walk down either Willis Avenue or Roslyn Road, probably Roslyn Road, and then uh, walk along Old Country Road to Roosevelt Field Mall. And I'll leave the mall for another video. So now I have a plan what to do while I'm in Nassau County. By the way, there's even a cheaper way to get here. You can take the bus from Jamaica Station. Well, this is interesting. I don't know why those people crossed the light when they did, but I shouldn't have followed them because these cars are making left turns. Well, here you see some political endorsements for Mike Bloomberg 2020. Currently, he's running for the President of the United States. Here's a Chase Bank, has a drive through Don't think I can get to the railroad station here, unless I can.
Wow, that white van is flying down the street. It's one of the reasons why I don't like bike riding in Nassau County because the bike system is not really developed as well as New York City is. There's wide streets and not a lot of shoulders or bike lanes. That's just due to how the uh, setup is. So I just made a right on 3rd Avenue. Let's see if I can get to the railroad station somehow and cross over to the other side. It didn't, it didn't seem like I was able to turn any earlier because these are private businesses which have fences. Unless I can. Oh, look at this. I was, I'm walking on 3rd Avenue and now here's 3rd Street. Um, well, that's the uh, bridge I crossed. The railroad station is here. Many people who drive around here, they don't actually drive into Manhattan if they have job there. They have jobs. They'll drive their cars to these parking garages and then take the railroad in. It's a alternative way to commute. May not be the cheapest way, but it sure sometimes beats a lot of stress from people jamming on the highways and then driving into the city. They just park here, pay they're parking for the day and then take the railroad in. Alright, so I was able to go this way. It just looked a little bit odd. Attention customers, due to track work, all trains will be departing from track 2, platform B. Please safely cross over to platform B to board all trains. This definitely sounds very familiar. There's also a train coming now. So I gotta go all the way back up again. It's deja vu. Whoa! Talk about perfect timing with that view. And I think that may be one of the newer Long Island Railroad trains. I think they call it the M9 train. But that's a nice sighting right there. Also some horn action. So that was a short detour from where I was originally supposed to walk, but it's all fun. Granted, it's my first time here, so I guess I didn't do half bad. Anyway, let's continue walking on Mineola Boulevard to Jericho and show you the rest of the village. So one of the primary reasons why Nassau County did not join the western half of Queens County 
well, I should say why the eastern half of Queens County did not join uh, the western half of Queens County and joining New York City was because they felt that New York City will poorly represent their area. I mean, how can City Hall direct them from miles away all the way in Manhattan, all the way out east? So that's why they decided not to join the rest of Queens County into joining with Nassau. Here's NYU Winthrop University Hospital. So NYU even has a hospital out here in Mineola. Something you learn. Here we got gyro stop, subway, a lunch place which is available for lease. So is this place. One of the many complaints that I hear from, wow, this one's closed too, like three, four stores in a row. But one of the main complaints I hear from Long Islanders is that their property taxes are too high. I think Nassau County um, was almost on the verge of bankruptcy at one point. And I'm just curious, so I'm going to read up a little bit on what happened there. So what happened was uh, in the 1990s, Nassau County had budget problems and they almost were forced into bankruptcy. Yeah. The county therefore increased the taxes to prevent a takeover by New York State. But even though they did that, on January 27, 2011, New York State seized control of Nassau County's finances. Because they failed to balance their $2.6 billion budgets. So, Nassau County was bailed out by New York State. There's a Nassau County police car. For those of you who want to know what a Nassau County police car looks like. It's very quiet here compared to many neighborhoods in New York City. This is Cleveland Avenue and Mineola Boulevard. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention that the name Nassau in Nassau County, it comes from an old word meaning Long Island. So Nassau is the name of Long Island. Here's a sign which I've never seen before. Don't really know what this is supposed to mean. There's another property available. Shacker Realty.
here is USA gas station. Prices here are $2.43 and 9 tenths of a penny for a regular. And the most expensive option is diesel at $2.95 and 9 tenths. Here we got a eye doctor, 2020 eye care. A little bit tricky here, so you have to like watch out for cars like that. There isn't any, even any crosswalks painted on the street there. I was telling you before how Nassau County is very car centric and that's a perfect example of, of that right there. Here at least there's a stop sign, but it's a two-way street on a very narrow street for that matter. There's a bus coming down Minneola Boulevard, the N24 to Hicksville. Oh, there's some bad drivers around here. Jericho Turnpike is the next block. I should actually think about crossing here because at least I have a crosswalk here. Technically, I should have right away here. Let me do it because I don't think I'll get the chance later. Good thing the driver saw me. The light was just about to change. Whoa, that guy's playing Frogger there. I tell you. If you want to play Frogger, come to Nassau County because these cars have no mercy. By the way, the bus system is called NICE, short for Nassau Intercounty Express. So if you want to be nice, take the NICE bus.
As you can see, this is Jericho Turnpike. This becomes Jamaica Avenue once it hits New York City, but it extends, it extends for a good portion throughout Long Island. I don't know how far it goes, but it goes a long way. I'm actually gonna try to follow it for as long as I can. I know it definitely goes into Suffolk County. Yeah, I give up already. It's just going on and on. It's an interesting sculpture. Here's the Mineola Fire Department's headquarters. Nice plaque there as well as the bell. This one was dedicated in Here's a restaurant, the Piccolo Russola. Grand opening for this store, discount store. Well, this is very interesting. The cars on Jericho Turnpike have a green light, but the pedestrian signal does not. So I wonder how I'm gonna cross the street here. Oh, it just changed. Only gave me like 15 seconds, so the buttons do work, folks. Maniola Diner, Mr. Cheapo CDs, good name. A drive through Starbucks. This is Jericho Plaza. Another drive through establishment across the street. That one's Dunkin' Donuts. So you got your choices here. If you want inexpensive coffee, go to Dunkin' Donuts. If you want higher end, more expensive coffee, go to Starbucks. And they also cater to the Long Island community by offering a drive through You've got Supreme Furniture. Seems like a interesting location for a furniture store.
nice table there. Here's a BP gas station, $2.39 and 9 tenths of a penny for a gallon of regular. I'm like the only person walking on this side of the street. There's an overpass for a train. It might be the Long Island Railroad as well. Yes, it is. It's the Long Island Railroad tracks, but not the same branch that um, where I was walking to, unless it is. Oh no, this is the, um, I think it's the Oyster Bay branch. And it does connect to the same train that I got off at. So I've got a red light here, but I think I'm going to take my chance and cross the street. Got McDonald's across the street there. And this is a Super FL Mart Fresh. Looks like a Chinese supermarket. What? There's an escape room in that mobile bus. Can you escape mobile escape room? If any of you don't know, escape rooms are a modern day trend where people get locked up in a room with, depending on the, uh, the room size, could be two people, three people, I've seen escape rooms for as many as 10 people and they all need to solve puzzles together in order to escape a room in a given time frame. Some is an hour, some is half an hour, but a lot of them involve like taking clues from one area and then putting it in a console and another, pulling levers, finding hidden items or keys. It's a pretty interesting concept. I wonder how they could do it with a mobile vehicle like that though. And look at that, there's another escape room over there, say, can you escape li.com? I've been on a bunch myself and they're really fun to play with. But I can already tell you how to escape that mobile escape room. All you do is get a chainsaw and you like turn it on and start sawing down the side of the uh, the vehicle there, you'll definitely escape that way. Granted, you'll also be thrown in jail, but if you want to take that risk, that's an option. Okay, here's the street I wanted to turn onto. Roslyn Road and Jericho Turnpike. A good sized Walgreens on the corner there, the northeastern corner. And across the street, we got its competitor, CVS, which I learned from 
My friend Tom Delgado, comedian and tour guide Tom Delgado, it stands for Consumer Value Store. But right, let's continue on to Roslyn Road. I don't think we're going to see much here other than some residential areas. But we'll come go and see. This building here looks like it's completely vacant. Large property that's abandoned. Well, I won't say abandoned, but vacant. So I'm going to take this street all the way to Old Country Road and then I'll start a new video once I reach Old Country Road. There's Rosalind Road and Jefferson Avenue. And then I see on the other side of the street, it's called East Jefferson Avenue. Yep, it's all residential here, all detached homes. I don't know how much property uh, prices are here, but you can sure look them up easily on a website. Seems like these homes are a mixture of different styles. Some are brick, some are wood, different colors. They all have their own unique styles. Hey look, there's Jerome Avenue, which I just walked yesterday in the Bronx. But it's here in Nassau County as well. Alright, I just replaced my battery because it died. Didn't know I've been walking in Mineola for so long already. It's easy to get carried away. 
but I think there's a nice walk. You see a mixture of the residential area as well as the commercial. Now here's a detached building, I think three units. Wow, I think that's a water tower, Maniola water tower. So here's Clinton Avenue, across the street is called Westbury Avenue. see many of these homes have deep driveways some of them have um, even garages in the back too generally you get a lot more real estate for your money here in Long Island compared to New York City It's interesting how some people they have satellite dishes on their roofs and then some they have the regular antennas, TV antenna. TV service is a big deal around here. I know there's three ways you can get TV service, satellite dish, regular antenna or cable TV.
There's an impressive house on the corner here. Don't even know what street name this is because there's no street sign. All right, looks like I'm back in the commercial area of Mineola after walking through the residential area. Whoa, what is this? Can I even walk there? Okay, I pushed the button, but can I cross? I guess I'll find out if I go walk there on Rosalind Road. All right, no cars, I'm gonna go. Uh, take where you can get here in Nassau and crossing the street. Looks like I can walk. It's a little bit of a strange setup because this side here looks like the pathway is level and here it goes under and up. Here comes a train. Looks like I might have a challenge here crossing the street. All right, let's just go for it. That's this way.
Here's the Nassau County Youth Monument. And we've got another monument here at Mineola Boulevard. I mean, not Mineola Boulevard, Old Country Road and Roslyn Road. The Lions International Liberty Intelligence. But anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to smash that like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you all next time. And also stay tuned for my walk of Old Country Road next. I'm going to walk on this road all the way past Roosevelt Field until the uh, shops end. So it'll be an interesting walk. But take care, and I'll see you later.